Talk with James Graham, who's uh, had quite a meet with a couple of grade one wins uh, in the Ashland and uh, in the Jenny Wiley. Uh, let's first talk about the, the win in the Ashland. And uh, Carlo Viveri, do, do you feel like she could go on to a mile and an eighth in the Oaks and handle dirt as well? Uh, being by her side, dining for her, I don't see why she shouldn't be able to. Um, I've not worked her on the dirt, but the way she runs, I wouldn't see she'd have any problem. Feel pretty strong at the finish? Yeah, she was still going. We galloped out of eight and the horse that ran second, and that was as close as the one got to us, you know? She won on the lead that day, but could she, is she comfortable sitting off horses if need be? Well, she's proved that she can be. She's uh, very versatile. She's got very a lot of tactical speed. Um, she's fairly relaxed, as you seen the other day. She wasn't going too quick early on, so I'd be comfortable no matter where she sits. Uh, your other grade one winner was in the Jenny Wiley with Daisy Devine. Again, a wire-to-wire. -wire. Uh, talk about uh, what she did that day and, and how she think you could you think she could improve even off that. Uh, Daisy's kind of funny. Uh, when she's on, she's on. <laughs> and when she's not, she's still on. So it's, she's kind of a different kind of filly. Um, I know Andrew will probably kill me, but she's, she's had a few issues in her head before, so but she does everything you ask her to do. She does it the right way. She finishes up. Can't ask for any more. She, she had some nice races on the main track, but uh, it's been sensational on the turf. Do you feel like she's significantly better on the turf or good either one? I think she's good either one. She's, um, she's a hard-knocking filly. As I said before, she's bigger, stronger this year. She's mentally better, and she's just going on about her business. Knowing what the competition's like here and the kind of horses you're competing against at this meet, does it mean a little more to win grade ones at Keeneland? It means great to win grade ones anywhere, but here at Keeneland is so special. Uh, it's only a 17-day meet, and you just have to, they're all crammed into one area, you know, so you have to be hopeful that you get lucky enough to win one or two, and you'll be set for the rest of the meet, you know. Get going well for you this meet. How do you, how do you go about as a rider kind of setting up a, a short meet like this? Is it uh, connections you've made earlier in the season or last year? Yeah, well, I ride for just about everybody. Anyone that will put me on, that is. Um, I try. Rusty Arnold uses me. We've had luck in the past. I get lucky with Rusty here, so Tom Amos uses me. Mike Stidham uses me. You know, every. Anyone I ride for, Christophe Clement's using me a little bit, so Bill Mott has used me in the past, so I've been lucky for everybody. You know? How'd you get into the game? Uh, I was no good in school. <laughs> <laughs> it was either that or be kicked out of school, go to the apprentice school in Ireland, or just not do anything for a couple of years, so I went to the apprentice school in Ireland, started from there. Uh, was there a family connection to racing? Uh, no, I had a cousin that was working as a jockey, but didn't pan out, and and that was years before I knew what I was doing, so I went to the apprentice school, a career guidance teacher gave me the application form and I filled it out. And they accepted me and it's been uphill since. Since you didn't have the family connection, did you kind of take to it instantly? Was you kind of natural at it? Uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if any of us are natural at it, but it's, it's, it's been fun. I, I've never been afraid of horses. Uh, I'm very comfortable on them, so I guess that was the only way to go. Uh, do you do anything to, as far as a training regimen for, for this career? Work as many as I can in the mornings. I, I know I heard this about Bill Schumacher years ago. They said jockeys are maybe the strongest athlete pound for pound because of having to control such a large animal. Do you uh, feel that, that strength is a big component of this? Oh yeah, you have to be strong. If your body ain't strong, you ain't going to do this job. You uh, have to be physically, mentally. Considering what some of the jocks have to go through every day, you definitely have to be mentally. So. I just say, I, I take any sports athlete to try and do their job. Us jockeys are natural athletes, we can do their job. <laughs> and lastly, anything you do away from the track to relax, you know, golf, hobbies, anything? Uh, I like to fish a little bit when we're in New Orleans. Um, what do you fish for? Speckled trout. Went fishing with a couple of buddies and one of them caught a 23 inch one. So he was a big fish. But it's fun, you know. It's Just relaxing? Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks very much.